Live from South Victory, this is WFAA News. The story in Dallas that's grabbed America's attention. An innocent man minding his own business in his own home, shot and killed by a Dallas police officer. The four-year veteran of the police department uh, was seen in video uh, that's been circulating quite a bit, uh, purportedly showing her in the moments after she shot uh, Jean inside his house. Come clean. Give me justice for my son. My son's life matters. Arrested for manslaughter. This is the face of DPD officer Amber Geiger. Geiger does not deserve to wear the badge. Geiger remains on paid leave after shooting and killing 26-year-old Botham John in his own apartment. This family cannot rest until justice is served. And this offender is punished to the fullest extent of the law. Today, Amber Geiger was fired 18 days after the death of Botham Shaw. What's his name? Botham Shaw. What's his name? Botham Shaw. What's to his know name? Botham was to love Botham. I'm not satisfied that we have all the answers. And the number one answer that I want is what happened. We may never know everything that happened in that apartment, but tonight, for the first time, you're going to hear the 911 call from Amber Geiger. Good evening, I'm Chris Lawrence. And I'm Cynthia Isaguirre. The Dallas Police Department refused to release that 911 tape, but our longtime police reporter, Tanya Iser, obtained a copy of it. And when you listen to that call, we believe it adds context. And that's why we're airing the entire call. It lasts five minutes and 38 seconds. Dallas yeah, one. This is Carla. Where's your emergency? Um, hi, this is an um, off-duty officer. Um, can I get? I need EMS. Um, uh, I'm in number. Um, What's your address? Do you need police okay. as well or just EMS? Yes, I need both. Okay, what's the address? I'm at department number 1478. I'm in 1478. And what's yes. the address there? Um, it's 1210 South Lamar, 1478. 1410. Yeah. What's I'm in, going on? I'm, in, I'm an off-duty officer. I thought it was in my apartment, and I shot a guy thinking that he was thinking it was my apartment. He shot just, someone? Yes, I thought it was my apartment. I'm f <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Okay, and the, where, where are you at right now? I'm in, um, what do you mean? I'm inside the apartment with him. Hey, come on. What's here. your name? I'm Amber Geiger. I need to get me, I'm, I'm in. Okay, we have help on the way. I know, but oh. I'm, I'm going to lose my job. I thought it was my apartment. Okay, and hey, man. Hold on. Okay, stay with me, okay? I am, I am, I need, I need my new supervisor. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Come on. Oh, I, I thought it was my apartment. I understand. Now we, we have help. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my Hurry, please. They're on their way. I, I, I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. I could have sworn I parked on the third floor. Okay, I understand. No. I thought it was my apartment. 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 And the, what's the gate code there? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I need them. I thought it was my apartment. They're trying to get in there. There, We have an officer there. You don't know the gate code? No. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. Okay, and what, what floor are you in right now? The fourth floor. Fourth. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. They're coming. They're bud. I'm sorry, man. Okay, where was she? Where was he shot? He's on the top, top left. Okay, 
Brittany, you're with Dallas PD, right? Yes. Oh my god, I'm done. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Hey, bud. They're trying to get there to you, okay? I know. I, I, stay with me, bud. They're almost there. They're already there. They're trying to get to you. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. Holy f I thought it was my apartment. Oh my god. Okay, they're trying to get there to you. Do you hear them? Do you see them? No. No. I... I... How the f*** I took it out of there? How did I... Okay, go ahead and talk to them. No, it's me. I'm off duty. I'm off duty. I, I thought they were in my apartment. I thought this was my floor. Let me first start by saying it, it sounds like on the 911 call that help is not being administered. The arrest warrant does indeed say that Amber Geiger uh, gave first aid to both of John. Look, I've covered the Dallas Police Department for 17 years. Uh, this situation was something that I could never have imagined. It ignited a firestorm of conspiracy theories. Uh, one of the biggest was that they knew each other. They didn't. I was there the night that protesters took over the freeway and in protest to what had happened. This was a case that ignited uh, anger, confusion, and race was front and center. Joining me now uh, to talk about this, we've gotten this tape, we're taking a look at uh, would the release of this tape had made a, would it have made a difference? Should the city and police and prosecutors have released it? Uh, joining me now is Kathy Lothorp, you've represented police officers, and Jasmine Crockett, uh, you're a local civil rights attorney. Uh, Kathy, you've just listened to this, should this tape have been released? Considering the fact that this case was highly publicized, that the media, that the police departments, that the district attorney's office all had a chance to speak, it created a one-sided bias in my personal opinion, which can affect the jury pool that is presented when she has a chance to go to a jury trial. In that case, I think this should have been presented. And Jasmine, what's your reaction after seeing this tape? Um, I was pretty overcome with emotion, to be perfectly honest. Um, to, to hear, and I don't know if the audience could hear, but to actually hear what sounded like Botham taking his last breaths, it, it, it was a very moving thing for me. Um, it, it's sad, it's very sad. Um, but you could see that the officer was very cognizant of the trouble that she was in for what she did. Do you think it would have made a difference if it had been released? You know, I honestly don't think it would have made a difference. I think that 
everybody is going to buckle down on whatever side they're going to buckle down on. I think that the times that we're living in are, are um, pretty racially charged times in which we're consistently seeing minorities killed by law enforcement and nothing happening to law enforcement when they kill someone who is a minority. So I think that unfortunately due to the times, it probably wouldn't have made a difference. I think people are going to choose their sides whether they've heard this or not. And Kathy, you've represented police officers in trials. How do you think a jury will view this? Well, I think that this is a very real recording of what was going on at the moment. Legally, we call that excited utterance, which is something that's normally admissible for that very reason. There wasn't a lot of time to react and to plan and scheme what she was going to tell everyone. This was very real. I think the jurors will see it's very uh, real. And she's filled with uh, concern, but she has compassion. She has all the emotions of what just happened and that a life was affected as a result. So I do think, I don't agree just what was just said, and if I might just say that real quickly, because I think that we right away are assuming this is race-based. When you hear this tape, you don't get that from it. 